This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the LG G3. What's up, everyone? John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo here. Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where I usually talk about miscellaneous Apple rumors, some Samsung rumors, maybe throw in some HTC, some Android L, but not this week. This week, it's all about the D. So earlier this week, Twitter and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk put out a post that said about time to unveil the D and something else. So let me just get this out of the way. I can't wait to see Elon's D. Wonder what Elon's D is going to look like. I'm really excited about the D. Is the D going to be big? How much D can Elon unveil? All right, I got that out of my system. I feel a little bit better. I giggled for a lot that we cut off camera. Everybody giggled for a lot here because it was a funny tweet. In fact, it was so funny that Elon Musk said, LOL, internet, you got me laughing out loud. Literally, I'm glad I didn't say the other letter. So the tweet they initially put out with the D also had a pretty ominous sort of image on it. It had a letter D going up on a garage. You can see it right here with sort of Tesla lights coming out from down below it. So the question is, what is the D? Jokes aside, I've got sort of three ideas for what it could be. Uh, first, the Model X, at least the very first signature edition, started shipping at the end of 2012. It's been about a year and a half since those have been on the road. Possibly time for sort of a mid-cycle refresh. In fact, current deliveries of the Model S are arriving with options that have not been announced or not available on Tesla's website, including blind spot detection, uh, lane keep assist, as well as adaptive cruise control. So if those items are shipping on cars that were not ordered, my thought is probably that those are going to be standard features on all Model S's, which could maybe be the something else uh, that they're talking about. Uh, could also be the production version of the Model X, which is supposed to come out this year, is now saying production is not gonna start until 2015. We have not seen what the production version of this car is going to look like. We've only seen very, very, very early alpha uh, versions. In fact, we were at that launch event. Looks awesome, had the Falco wing doors, but nobody knows what the car is gonna look like. Uh, yet, people are still plunking down pre-orders. In fact, 20,000 pre-orders for the Model X have already come out, which is absolutely crazy. Stop the rumor for one sec to talk about this guy. This is legitimately my favorite phone of 2014. In fact, when I have to pick a camera to go take pictures of my one-year-old just going out and about, I'll pick this up over my point and shoot. It's got laser focus, so it focuses crazy fast. The pictures look awesome. It's got a quad HD display. It's available from pretty much every major US carrier. The phone is absolutely gorgeous. It's almost edge to edge screen. In my estimation, it is the best looking phone out there. And as we said in our review, it is the best Android phone I've ever tested. If you're looking for a new device, you want something with Android, you just want the best phone available, definitely check out the LG G3. Or it could be the Gen 3 card the Model 3, uh, which Tesla's thing is going to be on the road as early as 2017. So three years early, it could be about time to show a very early concept of that car. That's the $35,000 to $40,000 car. It's going to get about 200 plus miles of range. And it's going to really be Tesla's sort of mainstream car. The Model X and Model S usually come in around $75,000 or more. So certainly not for the faint of wallet. So it could be any of those three. Maybe Tesla is just announcing something totally different, like a pickup truck. Uh, my bet, though, is going to be be a retweaked uh, Model S with those things we talked about, perhaps all-wheel drive. The Model X is going to have all-wheel drive. It makes sense to share that drivetrain uh, with the sedan version of the car. They're both based on the same underpinnings. I think it should be pretty cool. Tesla stock has been going through the roof. We're going to know all of this information come October 9th. I cannot wait to see what Tesla is going to do. Um, the Elon Musk has also said in follow-ups that the next year's Model S's can 90% of the time drive themselves. Maybe we'll see some sort of autonomous drive stuff thrown in there as well. But I don't know what Elon's D is. I don't know what Elon's D looks like. I'm sorry, I promised I was going to stop that. I don't know what they're going to announce. I don't know what they're going to do, but it makes for a pretty awesome rumor, and uh, I can't wait to see what comes out of the company. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the episode of Rumor Roundup. This one was just focused on the D. Next time, I'll get my mind off the D, and we'll talk about some cellular phones and some mobile tablets and other words that my grandparents call technology. Until next time, John Render from Techno Buffalo. See you next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We love making tech videos here, and if you like watching them, be sure to hit the giant subscribe button so you know exactly what's happening in the world of technology. And if you like gaming and you want to see us play some games, albeit sometimes kind of badly, check out our new Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.